Hey guys, thanks for catching up with us. I'm Jessica. Welcome to Adelphi University, and we're beginning our campus tour with a little trivia. Okay, how many international flags align the University Center? Give up? 47, and they represent Adelphi students from each country. Pretty cool. Adelphi University is located in the heart of Long Island, just a short distance away from beautiful beaches and only a 45 minute train ride from New York City. Adelphi offers tickets to go see Broadway plays for 30, only $30, which is a huge discount, so we definitely take advantage of that. And they even take you to the city and back. Like I just saw Wicked like two weeks ago. Um, I've seen Hairspray, The Phantom of the Opera, Les Mis, like all these like shows and stuff with them. Adelphi is nestled in beautiful suburban Garden City, New York, a scenic 75-acre campus and also a registered arboretum. We're only um, maybe a five-block walk from the Long Island Railroad, and that opens up all sorts of opportunities for our students. We have internships with MTV and publishing houses and financial institutions, um, and our students routinely are placed in those kind of internships. There are nearly 5,000 undergraduate students enrolled at Adelphi from 38 states and 63 countries. 35% of the student body is male, 65% female, and 37% are of diverse backgrounds. The average class size is 21 with a student to faculty ratio of 10 to 1. The students are diverse and motivated and I love that. They bring a lot of different perspectives into the classroom and they're all really excited about what they do. Looking to attend, Adelphi University students have an average SAT score of 1632, including the critical reading with writing section, and the average GPA is a 3.4. Our admission standards are not just an SAT and a GPA. Our admissions counselors literally read over 6,000 undergraduate um, applications every year, and that's, that's just for our freshmen and they read everything that has been submitted with the application, letters of recommendations, essays. They look at high school transcripts to find out what kind of curriculum students have been involved in. They read everything and they make a very, I think a very holistic um, decision about whether or not we think that student is going to be a good fit for Adelphi. All students will pay an annual tuition and fees at a price of about $28,000 and close to $10,500 toward room and board. Note to entering freshmen, 93% of you will receive some sort of financial aid or scholarship, and 88% of Adelphi undergraduates receive financial aid. Adelphi offers more than 50 undergraduate and graduate programs and 8 schools and colleges. A few student favorites are nursing, education, and majors within the College of Arts and Sciences. Adelphi is also known for its performing arts. In fact, the school implemented the first dance program at an American university, so you can pirouette your way to the top. One of my other teachers, Lady Meredith, um, she's great. She has like, if you say her name as well, in the city, everyone knows who she is. And that's really good, because that gives you credibility of who you've trained with and stuff. She's had me intern at Jennifer Muller at the Works as well, where it's like, I get to take class with like a professional dance company. So it's really good. Adelphi counts 956 total full-time and part-time faculty members. What I originally loved about Adelphi was definitely the small class sizes. Um, basically there's probably no class that's larger than about 25 students, even as an incoming freshman. So I love that about the classes. You get to really personalize with your teacher. The Adelphi Panthers have 21 Division I and II intercollegiate sports, plus cheerleading and dance teams. This is where the basketball team battles it out on the court. With six residence halls on campus, including an array of special housing options, you are bound to find your home away from home at Adelphi. The reason we call them residence halls and not dorms is because like a dorm is somewhere you sleep and the residence hall is where you actually have a community. So what we really try and try to emphasize is that you actually know the person that lives next to you and um, get to know like all the people and teach them about like the arts, the theater arts and other countries and get them, um, keep them updated about what games are coming up because like in the residence hall I live we have a little bit of everything. It's very diverse. AU has more than 80 clubs and organizations including campus media organizations, seven Greek letter social sororities and fraternities, 
community service organizations, and social action clubs. They definitely have a lot of programs. One thing I like about the school a lot is that like during homecoming week or welcome back week, they plan tons of events that are always free to all the students. Um, out on the quad that we have, which is just a big area of grass, they have different events and they'll have um, like those blow-up activities. One time they had a drive-in movie with a blow-up screen and they gave out free blankets and free popcorn. And it's just a really nice time that you can connect with all the other students. I'm actually the advisor of the Math and Computer Science Club. We do all sorts of activities. We have game nights and movie nights. We're going to be going on some trips this semester. That's a lot of fun. I can't wait to hear Seasons of Love. Today's students are performing Rent, written by Adelphi alum Jonathan Larson. The show is about to start, so I'm going to go grab my seat. For University TV, I'm Jessica. We'll catch you next time.